Hey, so these were battles I did before this new season started. So before the buffs and the debuffs and when different Pokemon became meta before all of that. Starting things off with a very boring matchup. Cresselia versus Cresselia. If you have something else to do, go ahead and do that because we're going to be here for a hot second. Um, I do have Moonblast on mine and Grass Knot, which is usually the movesets that you put on your Cresselia. Unless you're trying to be fancy, go Future Sight. Gives you some uh, different coverage. So this is going to be a really boring matchup. Moonblast versus Moonblast. Now, I do have to worry, and my opponent has to worry about that attack drop that Moonblast can give you. Whichever Cresselias get that moon that uh, attack drop is winning. So still no attack drop. Every time I hit that moon blast, I'm like, please give me attack drop. Every time they hit their moon blast, I'm like, please don't give me an attack drop. So this is going to be a very long match. Do they get the attack drop now? No. Perfect. Awesome. That's what we want. So I'm going to hit the moon blast, hoping for an attack drop. Nothing. Cool. Okay. I also have Ninetales and Trevenant with me. I just wanted to do this team. It was the end of the season. Why not try something different? Again, boring matchup. If you want to make some coffee, get some juice, understandable. So they hit me with the Moonblast. No attack drop. I'm hitting them with the Moonblast. Again, praying for an attack drop. It's a very slow, boring battle. No attack drop. So we're just going to kill each other here. Uh, they're really low, so I can go for a Grass Knot, but they get it first. And I'm like, ah, crap. Do I let this go? Do I win Switch? I'm going to let it go. I don't want to use a, a shield just for that. So I'm going to come in with Ninetales and just farm down with Charm. This is Charm Ninetales. I prefer Charm than Powder Snow Ninetales. I love the power of Charm. It's so powerful. And they have a Whiskash. I'm like, damn, I wish I won Switch. So then this would be an easier match. But I tried to catch the Mud Bomb. That didn't work. And they're still hitting. I'm like, oh, is this Blizzard? No, it's not Blizzard, right? Not going to shield. Thank goodness it was just a uh, Mud Bomb. And they have a Fairy. A Shadow Granbull is so freaking scary because of the damage you can do with charm. So I'm going to hit them with the seed bomb. Do they block? Yes, they do. So nine tails. This is all up to you. <laughs> it's just you and some shield. So let's see what nine tails can do. Hitting them with the weather ball. Do they shield? Yes, they do. Because of course, look at all that damage it's doing. I'm already in yellow. I'm reaching red. I did sneak a charm in there, so I am going to block. I mean, this is my only Pokemon. I had to block. There was no other option. They hit me with the crunch. Please, no defense drop. No. Okay. So now it's just their Whiskash and Ninetales. Whiskash can be pretty spammy with Mud Bomb. So I am going to block because, again, this is my only Pokemon. And hopefully I can get to a Psy Shock, but I can't. I didn't know Weather Ball was going to, to kill it. Get rid of it. So I just let it go. And unfortunately, we do lose that matchup. Maybe Weather Ball would have actually got rid of that. I wasn't too sure. So good game to my opponent. Going into the next game with my Cresselia versus <sighs> Cresselia. Again, another boring matchup. If you want to get some coffee, if you want to um, make some juice, I don't know. It's going to be a long one. So I'm going to hit them with the Moon Blast. They hit me first. I am praying for no attack drop, just like the last game. When you get the attack drop on Cresselia, you might as well switch because it'd be game over. No attack drop, we're good. Hitting them with my Moonblast, hoping for an attack drop on my end. Do we get it? Do we get it? No. Oh my God. It's like every time I do this, I hold my breath a little bit, praying, please give me the attack drop on their end and not on my end. So they're gonna hit me with the uh, Moonblast. Again, this is very repetitive. No attack drop, thank goodness. Hitting them back with the same move. Do I get the attack drop? Finally, hello, this is perfect. So now um, I am free to 
basically win this matchup because now their Moonblast is way less powerful. So they can hit me with Moonblast, Grass, whatever you want. Look how little damage it does compared to last time. So I am uh, expecting a switch, but they didn't switch. So I go for a Moonblast again. And they decide to not shield it, but it does more damage. So now I can get to the Grass Knot and get rid of this Cresselia. So a little bit of a less boring matchup than the first game because we saw an attack drop. So they are going to let their Cresselia go and they're going to be bringing in their Ninetales. Okay, so we have kind of the similar team, except this is a Powdered Snow Ninetales. Okay. I don't know if that's better or not for my team. Probably worse since I do have a Trevenant that is weak to ice. So I'm going to bring in my own Ninetales. Don't know if that was the greatest decision. Also, there's a shiny, so a slight flex on me. Flexing on me with the shiny. I blocked the Weather Ball, unfortunately. I thought it was going to be Dazzling Gleam. And uh, yeah, it wasn't, so... <laughs> I am going to not block this one. I don't want to give up another shield, even if it is Dazzling Gleam. It's just a Weather Ball because I, I think Trevenant's going to need something. And it's another Charmer. How many Charmers do you need, man? Charmers are so deadly. And I don't run any steel, basically any steel on my team. Um, I switched to Trevenant thinking maybe I can get a Seed Bomb in there. Uh, but they're able to get to the crunch first. But I still think, okay, I get this. So I'm going to block my Trevenant. Block the crunch, hoping no defense drop. I don't think that was a defense drop. Get to the Seed Bomb. Are they going to block? Are they going to let Ninetales take this? They block. Okay, so now it is versus my, was it Shadow Claw and Charm? I'm able to get the farm down. Ninetales is coming in. Ninetales had no life. I win that matchup. I thought Ninetales had uh, more life to her, so I was a little bit worried, but uh, good game. Will we see another Cresselia versus Cresselia matchup? No, Cresselia versus Pelipper. Interesting. So I am going to stay, and the only thing I have to work out, uh, watch out for is Hurricane, because Weather Ball doesn't really do anything to me. Um, I don't use Pelipper a lot, so I don't really know the times uh, fast moves they can get to their charge moves so I'm kind of just hoping it's not but I do get the moon blast no attack drop that would be amazing Cresselia is pretty bulky so I'm going to I believe let this go since she can handle a hurricane and it was just a weather ball so I was like all right if you're gonna do that so now I'm gonna hit them with the grass knot I think this KOs from that range it is half water but it's half flying I'm not too sure well, no, because they decide to shield. So now I'm thinking, oh, are you scared of Cresselia? Do I keep her alive? Is this just a weather ball? Is this a hurricane? Do I block? I decide not to block. And it is just another weather ball. So we're good here. I can get to another grass knot, but they get to another weather ball. I'm like, oh, maybe I should shield here so I can win switch at least. So I decide to shield the weather ball again and uh, get to a Grass Knot before they're able to switch. And this Grass Knot, by this uh, range, pretty sure gets rid of it. And it does. Okay, so we went switch. We are down, uh, well, same amount of shield. And they come with a Trevenant. I'm like trying so hard to get to any move. And oh, unfortunately, this Trevenant farms me down. And that's not great with Trevenant with energy. And I have a Trevenant because they can get to a Shadow Ball. So I'm like, ugh, this is not, this is rough. So I come in with Ninetales, thinking that they have to hit a Shadow Ball. So I'm going to be honest, I don't have a strategy. I'm just thinking Charm has a lot of damage. Let's get through it. And they hit me with the Shadow Ball. Ninetales is able to survive. I tried to switch to Trevenant. And I just, I couldn't do it. Uh, I wasn't, uh, and I had a weather ball all there. But now the last Pokemon is a lantern and they quit. So I'm like, okay, this is great. All you need is, is three wins really to uh, move up a little bit. So we have Cresselia versus Jellicent. Uh, interesting. I guess, I don't know. 
is this sort of even because they have shadow ball but i have grass on but they have hex so i think maybe this is more in jealous and favor i could be completely wrong on that and i probably am but i stayed in because grass not but i am worried about the shadow ball and i'm also worried about the baiting i really hate jellison because of the bubble beam surf bait so i let it go and it was a shadow ball thankfully chrysalia it's pretty darn tanky so she is able to handle that i'm able to get to another grass knot which i don't know if this would take out jellison it probably would but uh, we won't know because they decide to block and I'm trying so hard to get to another grass knot, and I am. Opponent got a little greedy there. Got a little greedy. Tried to farm me down. So obviously, they are going to block this grass knot. So now I have a tricky situation because Trevenant dies to Shadow Ball, of course, and I have my Ninetales. So I'm like, hmm, I guess I gotta go to Ninetales, even though Trevenant does have a fast move that is effective against Jellison. I'm not gonna block because I think this might be a surf or a bubble beam. Nope, going straight for it. Thankfully, Ninetales was able to do pretty well. I am going to block this one because I'm not trying to get hit with another Shadow Ball. And of course, now you decide to do surf. So uh, then we have a, a Ferrothorn. I switch to my Trevenant and they're not switching, but I'm like, oh, if you're not switching, you might have Flash Cannon which does a lot to Trevenant. So let me shield real quick and it's just gonna be a power whip, darn it. So, yikes. Um, I'm, I'm anticipating a switch, nothing's happening. So I go for Shadow Ball. And now I'm thinking, okay, maybe your last Pokemon is weak to Trevenant. It's a water, but then I'm like, oh wait, what if it's uh, like Metachamp, which is also weak to Trevenant. So we're gonna see because this Ferrothorn's gonna go down. This might be, Oh, it's just a thunder. Okay, I thought my, maybe it was a flash cannon. And it is a meta champ. So we can just go for shadow ball. I'm pretty sure this takes meta champ out. Yes, it does. Boom, right there. Perfect. And then Ferrothorn is low health. So that is great. The reason why I, I remember, the reason why I ran Trevenant so much is I kept seeing meta champ and I got tired of her. So I ran a team that all does well <laughs> and destroys Metachamp. That's how much I was not a fan of Metachamp during this season. So let's go to the next match. That's what I do. When I see a Pokemon a lot, I will make sure every single Pokemon on my side can destroy it in case I see it. So I have a team for Swampert because I'm tired of Swampert and I have a team for Metachamp. We have Cresselia versus Dunsparce. Kind of a... I think it's a good matchup for me. Drill Run and Rockside doesn't do too much for Cresselia. She is very bulky. Uh, they are going to hit me. I'm pretty sure the move you're supposed to do against Cresselia if you're Dunsparce is Drill Run. So they are going to hit me with... Never mind. It's a Rockslide. Maybe Rockslide is more better. <laughs> no idea. So I'm going to hit them with the Moonblast, hoping for the attack drop, even though Rockslide and Drill Run doesn't do as much. And I don't get the attack drop. Um, I don't know what the percentage is for the attack drop when you use Moonblast, but I know it's not as high as Reggie Steel and their Zap Cannon with their attack drop. So I'm going to hit them again with the Moonblast against their Dunsparce. And I get the attack drop, which is perfect. Okay. Um, I mean, I was going to let these moves go anyways but now i definitely don't have the shield because it's gonna do not a lot of damage so they are still staying in i think by this range i can hit the grass knot and take care of this dunsparce so that's what i do and they decide to let it go next thing coming in is a knock towel so i'm gonna try to get a moon blast in hoping for a attack drop this is before the new season started so sky attack still takes the same amount for this uh noctowl because this is last season without the uh not debuff yes without the debuff to sky attack taking longer to get so i'm gonna let this move go it is going to be a sky attack which is way better but that means they have a sky attack again 
So I am going to block this next sky attack. It was actually a shadow ball. So, okay, good thing I blocked. Um, well, even if it was sky attack, I was going to block. So now I'm going to hit them with the weather ball because I don't want to give up another shield without them at least giving up an, uh, one shield because they still have two shields on their side. And they decide to block. So I'm like, okay, now I'm thinking you're weak to nine tails or... Yeah, that's all I'm thinking. So I am going to block because I think maybe it's a Metachamp or an Umbreon in the back. And it's going to be a Metachamp, which is perfect because I do have Trevenant. I am a little bit worried about uh, Ice Punch, but I'm able to not get it in for the second time. I can't get the stupid <laughs> Weather Ball in. So I'm in a tough situation because Metachamp can have access to Ice Punch, but I come in with Trevenant. I know Trevenant can take one ice punch. So they use an ice punch. So I'm like, okay, you can take one. I'm going to have to try to catch this move. I'm not the greatest with catching, and I didn't do it. So there you go. Uh, darn, if I just caught the move, I would have definitely won this match. But because I didn't, uh, unfortunately, I lose that one. So definitely there was a win con. It's called being a better player. So I would definitely won that one. Hey, three out of five, not bad. And I get a little Axew. So a uh, good game to my opponent. That is the end of it. New season is starting. So new videos will come with new Pokemons. There's been a lot of debuffs and buffs. And uh, we'll see how that goes for me. Uh, remember, I'm already playing. And so it's been, it's been rough. So <laughs> I will see you guys in the next video.